You who over here, lovely. Sorry if I kept you waiting, lovely. You wouldn't believe the traffic today. How are you? That's great. I'm doing fine myself. Well, maybe not quite true. I think I might have been too excited for today to sleep properly. Oh, don't worry about it. Vampires have abundantly more energy than humans. I'm sure I'll be fine for a while. Oh, don't worry about me being out during the day either. I won't burn or anything. Or, well, not literally. I told you before that vampires who stay out in the sunlight don't burn to ash. We just get really, really bad sunburn due to how pale we become. Really, it's the heat stroke that kills most vampires who stay out during the day. But don't worry. I put a lot of sunscreen on before coming. You may have noticed. Oh, you worry too much, lovely. Relax. It's extra strength stuff made specifically for vampires. I'm sure I'll be fine for the day. Now, you finally got a date with your hot vampire teacher. So, what do you have planned for today? Oh, lunch at a pizza place? Well, you certainly know how to wine and dine me. Oh no, it's okay. I love pizza. Besides, I never quite understood why people always go on dates at fancy restaurants anyway. They're always so expensive. And honestly, people always spend hours dressing up and getting ready to go to those places and then all they do is normal stuff. Eating over expensive food and talking with each other. I mean, I suppose I get it, to some extent, but honestly, I've never been a fan of restaurants like those. Anyway... Sorry for going on a bit of a tangent like that. What pizza place are we going to specifically? Pizza Fort. Ah, oh, yes, that's my favorite place. I order delivery from there a lot. Oh, before we go there, tell me. What do you think of my outfit? A major change from my usual school outfit, don't you think? I put on my good shorts today, and everything just for you. Although they feel a little tight today, what do you think? <laughs> well, I can tell from your face you love the outfit. <laughs> Don't worry, lovely. I'm only teasing. Hmm. This date's only just started and I'm already having fun. Now let's get going, shall we? Ah... Uh. That was a great pizza. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't instinctively tempted to go for seconds after I finished. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have a diet to keep up. Ugh. The struggle to keep this body is real some days. I still can't believe you actually considered getting pineapple toppings for your pizza. Ugh. Wrong. Pineapple on pizza is an affront to all pizza and should never have been invented. Nope. Never. I refuse to even acknowledge it as a topping. I'm sorry, what? You're pulling my leg. There's no way there's such a thing as banana pizza. Ugh, oh, no, no. I'd rather you don't look it up to show me. I'll just take your word for it. Anyway, I really enjoy the pizza. I know it was a fast food restaurant, but honestly, I never thought sharing a pizza with someone would be so fun. Still, though, I would have walked out on your ass if you actually ordered pineapple toppings. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, lovely. As horrid as the idea of pineapple on pizza is, you have your own tastes, and it would be really shallow of me to go and judge you for them. Now, what else did you want to do today? A walk through the park? Hmm. That sounds nice, actually. I don't go out during the day often on my days off, and the weather's perfect, too. Well, perfect in human terms. We could sit in the shade. That's a nice idea. Come on, let's go. It's a lovely day out, isn't it? Almost as lovely as you. Mm-hmm. Sorry if that sounds corny, but it's true. 
Maybe it's the natural light, but you look way cuter here than you did back in class. Your eyes, your face, your butt. I can't really help but stare. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> that, that took me a little off guard. I wasn't expecting you to just <laughs> outright call me gorgeous like that. <laughs> Sheesh. Is it getting really hot all of a sudden? <laughs> oh, hey. That spot over there by that tree is pretty well shaded. Why don't we go sit there for a while? Ah. Uh, nice and cool. It feels nice not having to walk around in high heels for once. I mean, normally I walk around my house barefoot, but frankly I think this might be the first time I've worn normal shoes in a while. I can't think my poor heels have been the same since my first year as a teacher. You want to massage my feet? Hmm. Well, I'm definitely not going to say no, especially for my lovely. Here, let me lay down on my front so you can get a good angle on them. Okay. Go ahead. Mm, not bad. Have you done this before, lovely? Once or twice. Really? On who? Other girls from your class? <laughs> My lovely. Yeah, I didn't realize you had such game. <laughs> I'm only teasing, lovely. Although... I can see someone as cute as you getting all kinds of attention. Would I be jealous? <laughs> Why don't you stay focused on the foot rub, lovely? Mm, that feels nice. Uh, you're surprisingly good at this for someone who doesn't do it very often, lovely. Mmm. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> no, no. It's not you, lovely. You did great. I completely forgot I shouldn't be laying down because of the sunscreen on my legs. The grass went and rubbed most of it off. Don't worry, lovely. I, I always keep a mini bottle of sunscreen with me for these things. It's not as strong as the one I have at home, but they'll do for the rest of the day. Ah, uh, say, could you be a deer and rub it on my legs for me, lovely? Mm-hmm. My legs. Is there a problem? Good. So you could help me rub sunscreen on them? <laughs> well, here's the bottle then. Now, go ahead. No, kind of chilly. Hmm. Your hands feel nice, though. Hmm. Could you move your hands up a little bit? You're not quite getting the area where the grass messed it up. Hmm. Not quite. A little further. <laughs> Is there a problem, lovely? The areas on my thighs go up a little further. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh naughty, naughty, lovely. Couldn't wait till the end of the date, mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, lovely. It's okay. There's no need to be embarrassed. Come, sit with me and relax a bit, would you? I'm sure you'll need to unwind a bit after all that. Hmm. Lovely. You mind if I speak my mind for a moment? I'm worried. Well, a new vampire has recently joined our clutch, and to be truthful, I have a bad feeling about her. 
Well, uh, she's what we call a blinded. On rare occasions, when we turn someone, there's a chance their sense of morality may disappear and they can become wild and animalistic. They'll decide more by instinct than by common sense. Coupled with vampire powers, that makes them incredibly dangerous. We normally make it a point to kill them immediately if they turn out like this, but the mistress didn't allow it. I don't know. Not for sure, at least. Truthfully, I'm worried because this could turn out very poorly. I truly hope the mistress knows what she's doing. <clears throat> uh, sorry. I didn't mean to get all grim there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just paranoid. The mistress knows what she's doing, I'm sure. <laughs> Why don't we change the subject, lovely? Uh, I've been rereading my old Dragon Ball manga. Yeah. I was actually one of the few people to buy the very first editions of Dragon Ball when I went on a trip to Japan during the 80s. And I've got to say, I was hooked ever since. I tried to make it a point that whenever I was on a trip to Japan, one of the few places I'd stop was at a place to buy the new chapters. Ah, they really were rather unrelenting about their humor back in the day. It's quite surreal how much the series has changed now. Mm. Hey, maybe we should get up now. Your scent is getting to me again, and I'd rather not doze off outside. So, what else would you like to do? Not really sure. Hmm. You know, I, I think there's a movie theater nearby we could probably check out. Sound good? All right. Let's go check it out then. Oh, but before we go, do you perhaps mind if I have a snack? <laughs> yeah, I know I ate pizza not ten minutes ago. I mean, a different kind of snack, Lovely, you know. Ah, uh, thank you, Lovely. Hold still for me, okay? <gasps> Uh. Your blood is the best, lovely. One more time, okay? One more time and then I'll go. Okay, that's enough. Woo. <laughs> Your scent always gets me a little bit hot and bothered when I'm hungry, lovely. Now, how about we cover that scent with the smell of fresh movie popcorn theater, huh? Come on, let's go. Whoa, that was crazy. Yeah, I loved it. That twist at the end where he actually succeeded and half of the main cast all die was honestly really unexpected. Oh no, I've seen the movie before, but every time I watch it in theaters, the ending always comes up as a shock to me. Even when I know what's coming. <laughs> ah! Goodness, it's already well into the evening. You really lose track of time when you're enjoying yourself, huh? <laughs> It is getting pretty late now. Perhaps it's time to go home? Why do you look so disappointed? Oh, oh. Well, what did you think when I said it was time to go home? <laughs> what I'm saying, lovely, is do you want to go to your home or mine? Y yours, then? Okay. That sounds good. Don't worry, I'm parked nearby. Right down here, actually. Come on. Ah, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> I remember the way to your house, lovely. Don't worry. 
<laughs> you forgot about that? Well, I suppose it was a long while ago now. That was the day this whole thing between us started. <laughs> yeah, and I was totally ready for you to reject me, but instead you actually let me drink your blood. Can't say it came as a surprise. <laughs> yeah, well, perhaps that moment was exactly why I wore these shorts. Do I like it when you stare at my butt? Hmm, maybe. So, you ready, lovely? <laughs> you already look so nervous, and we haven't even got to the front door. Oh, so this is the first time you've brought a woman home? Mm, I suppose, I guess, as much. But goodness, you're so cute when you're embarrassed. Well, shall we? I had a lot of fun today, lovely. Normally I'd be at home stuffing my face with pizza, watching Netflix all day on a Saturday like this, but honestly, I think this Saturday has been the funnest Saturday I've ever had. And I bet it's about to get a lot more fun. <laughs> Come here, lovely. You've been holding out on those kisses for way too long. Mm. Uh -huh. oh, what? You want me to drink your blood right now? But but I'm not really hungry at the moment, lovely. You really want me to. Uh, lovely, are you feeling okay? For, for that matter, have you been feeling okay since the last time I drank from you? Need for me to drink from you. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. I, uh, what's wrong? I, uh, you're aware that vampires can turn other people into vampires, right? Uh, lovely. Please don't hate me when I say this. I might have accidentally begun turning you. I'm so sorry. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, you learn to deal with it. Uh, I... I don't think it'll be that easy, lovely. The problem is that... How do I explain this? Oh, when a master turns a human... They become instinctively bound to each other. The master will have an almost insatiable urge to drink from their fledgling, and the fledgling will feel the same about being drunk from, and one of the reasons we're so careful about turning other people into vampires is because the process lasts for a month, and the master has to maintain a strict degree of control during the whole process, or they could end up drinking their fledgling dry. It can and likely will get worse as time goes on. Oh, oh, well, I'm flattered you're willing to bear through the process, lovely, but it may not be as easy as keeping yourself locked in your house for a month. You, you might also be hunted. Because if we just let anyone turn whoever they please, vampires could run rampant across the world. Our species is alive to this day because we've set up these laws to keep our population within legal, safe, and controllable boundaries. It's very dangerous for fledglings to be unsupervised because they might turn into blinded, and if they become blinded... Yes. They need to be killed. I'm sorry, lovely. I'm... 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. There's no need to panic. I've known the mistress for hundreds of years. I can talk to her. She's a good person. I'm sure if I can tell her how this happened, she'll spare you. Is there no way to cure it? Mm. I'm sorry, Lovely. There isn't a way to cure vampirism. When we convert someone, the victim is tied to the vampire. The process normally lasts for roughly a month, but eventually and inevitably, they will become a vampire no matter what. I, uh, I gotta go. I'm sorry, Lovely. I'm sorry our date had not like this. I am so sorry. I love you. I'll be back. <laughs>